Hello friends, so here is another question on simplification of SOP or min term type boolean function with don't care uh, condition. So this is the function, the min term values are 6, 7, 8, 9 and the don't care values are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have already uh, done the first step that is determination of the binary equivalence here. These are the normal min terms. These are the don't care terms. The next step is to group them in different categories depending upon the number of one bits that are present. So here if you see in the normal min terms there is only one min term that is 8 which has single one bit. Okay this one. So this will be kept in one group. Let us bring these two outside. And let us take this here. This is one. Then we have two one bits. Okay, two one bits. So here six and nine. Six, nine, ten, and twelve. D ten, D twelve. Okay. Another important thing, it is very important to assign D write d before these min terms because they don't care terms so that you are clear about them so we have 9 10 12 9 10 we have 12 and we have 9, 10, 12 and 6. 6 also has 2 1 bits. Okay, so okay, these they are in one group consisting of only two one bits again they are in ascending order depending upon the position of one bit from lsp to msp then three one bits we have seven which consists of three one bits 11 13 and 14 so let us group them together seven d11 13 and 14 they are three one bits okay they will be put in one group and then we have d15 which consists of four one bits it will be in one group okay so these are the four groups that we have okay so here eight is one one group then 6 9 d10 d12 consisting of two one bits they are in one group we have 7 d11 d13 d14 they are in one group consisting of three one bits and we have d15 consisting of four one bits So let's call this group A1, this A2, this A3 and this A4. Next step is forming min term pairs. So here we have to compare the min terms of the adjacent groups that is a1 with a2 a2 with a3 and a3 with a4 and form min term pairs which differ by one bit position so here i will be directly writing the min term pairs and the differing bit is replaced with a blank space okay so we have already discussed in the introductory question in detail the next three four five questions have discussed in detail how to form min term pairs and their binary representation okay this 
So first in between group A1 and A2 we have 8, 9 with binary representation 1, 0, 0 dash the differing bit is D then 8, D10 with binary representation 1, 0, dash, 0 then 8, D12 with binary representation 1, dash, 0, 0 ok this is the min term pairs between A1 and A2 then in between A2 and A3 there will be a lot a2 and A3 because there are a lot of min terms ok so 6, 7 with binary representation 0, 1, 1 dash then 6, D14 with binary representation dash 1, 1, 0 then 9, D11 D11 means min term D11, okay? The min term 11 with in which is in the don't care bracket, okay? 1, 0, dash 1, then 9D13, the don't care min term 13, that is 1 dash 0, 1, then we have D10, D11, both are don't care min terms d10 d11 10 1 0 1 dash then d10 d14 which is 1 dash 1 0 and then d12 d13 which is 110 dash and d12d14 which is 11 dash 0 ok so these are the min terms min term pairs between groups a2 and a3 then between group a3 and A4, okay. They will be they are between A3 and A4. We have 7 D15 with binary representation dash 1 1 1 then D11, D15 with binary representation 1 dash 1 1 D13, D15 you can check them okay you can check whether they are differing by one bit position and the differing bit is replaced with a blank space okay 1 1 dash 1 and D14, D15 which is 1 1 1 dash okay so these are the three min term pair groups let us put them in boxes this is one group let's call it b1 this is another let's call it B2 and this is the third one just B3 <clears throat> okay next we have to form the merging of the min term pairs Okay, the merging of min term pairs step 
3 merging of min term pairs. So here the min term pairs of the three groups that we have formed they are compared with the adjacent group. So the min term pairs of B1 are compared with the min term pairs of B2. The min term pairs of B2 are compared with the min term pairs of B3 using the trick that I have told you always start with the you know, group which has minimum number of min term pairs and each min term pair you have to only compare it with those min term pairs of the adjacent group where there is a blank space at identical positions. For example, if you are taking 8, 9 min term pair, you only have to compare it with those min term pairs of B2 where there is a blank space at position D because in 8, 9 there is a blank space at position D, you only have to compare it with those which has a blank space at position D. So, here 8, 9 has to be compared with 6, 7, then D10, D11 and D12, D13. These are the possibilities of merged min term pair. Similarly, 8, D10 has a blank space at position C. So, it has to be only compared with those min term pairs which has a blank space at position C. For example, 9, D11, D12, D14 like that. Okay. So, I am directly writing the merged min term pairs which are differing by one bit position. Here, they are merged min term pairs then binary representation ok 8 d10 9 d11 So, 1, 0, dash, dash. Then we have 8, 9, D10, D11. It also has 1, 0, dash, dash. Okay. B1 and B2 we are taking. Okay. Then we have 8, 9, D12, D13 with binary representation. 1 dash 0 dash and 8 d12 9 d13 with binary representation 1 dash 0 dash ok then we have 8 d10 d12 d14 with binary representation 1 dash dash 0 and 8 d12 d10 d14 with binary representation 1 dash dash 0. So now if you see here these two merge min term pairs they consist of the same min terms so they are repeated these two also the same repeated, these two are also repeated. We have to pick only one out of them. So, 8, 9, D10, D11 because it is in serial order. 8, 9, D12, D13 because it is in proper serial order. And 8, 10, 12, 14. This, okay, this one out of these two. Okay, these. This is in between B1 and B2. Then in between B2 and B3, the merged min term pairs are okay they are here I am writing it they are 6 7 D14, D15 with binary representation dash 1, 1 dash, then 6, 
d14 7 d15 same dash 1 1 dash then we have 9 d11 d13 d15 with binary representation 1 dash dash 1 then we have 9 d13 d11 d15 with binary representation same 1 dash dash 1 then we have d10 d11 d14 d15 with binary representation 1 dash 1 dash then d10 d14 d11 d15 same 1 dash 1 dash then we have d12 d13 d14 d15 with binary representation 1 1 dash dash and d12 d14 d13 d15 same 1 1 dash dash so if you see here again these two merge midterm pairs are repeated we will pick only the one with proper serial order this one these two are repeated we will pick this one these two are repeated same in terms so we will pick this one because it is in proper order okay and these two are also repeated so we will pick this one again another interesting thing here okay if you see okay if you see the uh, the min term uh, merge min term pairs okay the merge min term pairs here this is one group okay this is one group of merge min term pairs that are formed between b1 and b2 and this is one group of merge min term pairs which is formed by you know merging min term pairs b2 and b3 so we will call this as c1 and this as c2 okay the highlighted ones that are highlighted in red now if you remember i told you that the correlation between k map and qmt method the min term pairs are similar to pairs in k map the merged min term pairs consisting of four min terms is similar to the formation of quad and then there is another concept which is called as merging of another step merging of merged min term pairs which differ by one bit position okay this is similar to the concept of formation of octet okay min term pairs are pairs merged min term pairs are quads and merging of merged min term pairs is called as formation of octet so why i have brought this concept here so if you see the min term merged min term pairs 8 9 d 10 d 11 8 9 d 10 d 11 with binary representation 1 0 dash dash okay 1 0 dash dash and here okay uh, 8 9 d 10 d 11 and here we have this one d 12 d 13 d 14 d 15 d 12 d 13 d 14 d 15 it is 1 1 dash dash so this is from c1 
this is from C2 adjacent groups then these two bits are same one one these two are blank spaces same this is different one bit position difference so there is a possible you know this merging of merge min term pairs which is 8 9 d10 d11 d12 d13 d14 d15 okay this is here 15 by mistake i have written 5 okay this is a octet formation which is possible okay then Another thing, if you see 8, 9, D12, D13, 8, 9, D12, D13, okay, I am writing it here, 8, 9, D12, D13, which is from C1, here, this one, 8, 9, D12, D13, with 1 dash, 0 dash. And compare it with D10, D11, D14, D15, this one, D10, D11, D14, D15 with binary representation 1 dash, 1 dash, this is from C2. So if we compare them, you will see these two bits are same, 1, 1 these two bits are same blank space blank space the last bit is same blank space blank space these two are different one bit position difference so this merge min term pair 8 9 d12 d13 d10 d11 d14 d15 is also possible and if you see both of them these two okay they have the same min terms they have the same min terms this is in a jumbled manner this is in proper serial order but same 8 9 d 10 d 11 d 12 d 13 d 14 d 15 so they are repeated and we'll pick this one because it is in proper serial order this is also a octet this is also a octet same min terms just in different order we'll pick this one and it will be represented as will replace this differing bit position that is b position with another blank space which will be 1 dash 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 okay this next is we have to compare the min terms with all the min term pairs that are formed okay so let us bring all the min term pairs in one place and the min terms so these are the min terms including the don't care ones okay these are the min terms let's bring the min term pairs all the min term pairs that are there here this one then these this and then these four Okay, we have to compare these min terms with the min term pairs to see if any one of them has missed out on pair formation. So here 8, 9 is present here, so we will tick mark it, 8, D10, whether it is don't care here, but still we will tick mark it, 8, D12, then 6, 7, then 6, D14, yes, 9, D11, D11, then D13 here, then D15 here. So, all the min terms 
or pair they are involved in pair formation then we will compare these min term pairs with the merge min term pairs so we will bring the merge min term pairs basically these highlighted ones so let us write them out here separately so they are 8 9 d10 d11 8 9 d12 d13 8 d10 d12 d14 this is one set of merge min term pairs and then we have 6 7 d14 d15 then 9 d11 d13 d15 then d10 d11 d14 d15 and then d12 d13 d14 d15 okay so here why we are doing the, all these comparisons like i have discussed it previously also correlated with k map you know i have always told you that in k map first priority is always given to octet then quad then pair and if it is not possible to form any of the group we form a single member group here also the the reason why we are doing this comparison is that we always want to give priority to a group which contains the maximum members or maximum min terms or maximum terms which are there min terms or max terms whatever it is it should contain maximum members possible and minimum number of groups should be formed form minimum number of groups include maximum member in each group that's how we want to cover all the min terms so here why we are comparing first the min terms with the min term pairs to see whether any min term has been missed out so if it is missing out then we'll include it in the essential prime implicant it is if all the min terms are involved in min term pairs then there is no need then we are comparing see first we compared min terms with min term pairs then we are going to compare min term pairs with the merged min term pairs we will see whether the given min term pairs are already present in the merged min term pairs or not if all of them are present no need to include any of these min term pairs in the final expression then we will focus on the merged min term pairs then we will compare the merged min term pairs with the you know the both the merged min term pairs that we have combined the octet okay so these are the single members these are the pairs these are the quads and then we have the octet which we have formed okay here the octet that we have formed this one will be picked we will compare it with this also here we will compare it with this but later on but now let's focus on this so we will compare perform the comparison see each min term pair will be compared with the merge min term pair ok 8 9 it is present here in this so we will tick mark it 8 d 10 present here 8 d 10 we will tick mark it 8 d 12 8 d 12 is present here in this we will tick mark it then 6 7 6 7 is present here in this merge min term pair we will tick mark it 6 d 14 present here tick mark 9 d 11 present here tick mark 9 d 13 present here 9 d 13 d10 d11 d10 d11 here it is present d10 d11 tick mark d10 d14 d10 d14 present tick mark d12 d13 present here d12 d13 d12 d14 d12 d14 present here tick mark then d11 d15 d11 d15 d11 d15 okay tick mark d13 d15 okay present here d13 d15 tick mark d14 d15 d14 d15 present here so tick mark so all min term pairs are present in the merge min term pairs so all 
of them are present here. So now we will compare these quads with this octet, the merged min term pair with the merging of the merged min term pair. See, 8, 9, let's use a different ink. 8, 9, D10, D11. It is present here. 8, 9, D10, D11. This tick mark, it is present. 8, 9, D12, D13. 8, 9, D12, D13. Present here. Tick mark. 8, D10, D12, D14. 8, D10, D12, D14. Tick mark it. 6, 7, D14, D15. Okay. D14, D15 present. 6, 7 is not present. So, highlight it. 6, 7 is not there in the octet. So, highlight it. This is a possible essential prime implicant. 9, D11, D13, D15. 9, D11, D13, D15. Present. D10, D11, D14, D15. D10, D11, D14, D15. Present. D12, D13, D14, D15. D12, D13, D14, D15. So, it is present. So, here... The final essential prime implicants which we are interested in are 6, 7, D14, D15, this and this octet, 8, 9, 8, 9, D11, D12, D13, D14, D15, these two, these two are the final essential prime implicants which will be appearing in the minimized boolean function. So, let us determine their binary representation. 8, 9, D then this one is 1 dash dash dash. Okay. This is 1 dash 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 which is basically A. Okay. Then 6, 7, D 14, D 15 is 6, 7, D14, D15, it is dash 1, 1, dash, okay, this one, 6, 7, D14, D15, dash 1, 1, dash, this one is dash 1, 1, dash, so this is basically A, B, C, D, it is B, C, it is B, C, so these are the two, you know, terms that will be coming in the final Boolean expression, so the minimized Boolean expression is A or B, C, this, this. So here this question is very important from the point of view that in most of the questions that we have solved, it maximum goes to merging of the min term pairs. Okay, first we form the binary equivalents, we group them, we form the min term pairs, then we merge those min term pairs. It normally ends there. In one question, I think we discussed the octet formation. This is another one where the concept of merging of merge min term pairs or octet formation came in QMT, Quine McCluskey method. So, that's why it is very important. So, like I said, these questions are very lengthy, you know, time taking. You got to have some patience here to write them in a proper way, the binary representations. You have to be very careful that you don't you know, uh, make a mistake where you write, uh, you know, a wrong bit, where you write 0 instead of 1, 1 instead of 0, that will be wrong. So, the chances of committing mistakes is very high here because of the large number of steps and the complicated procedures that are involved. So, you practice as many questions uh, as you can and as you practice more and more, your accuracy will improve, your precision will improve and you will get quicker, you know. You don't need to write too many steps. Just in your mind, you can form the min term pairs, the merge min term pairs, the octets. You can do it, okay? So, all you need is to practice more and more questions, okay? So, this is the minimized Boolean expression, A or 